A missing shipping container filled to the brim with relief supplies that never made it to their destination, which was Haiti. Well, they finally were unloaded today back home in the Grand Rapids area by the West Michigan nonprofit that originally sent the supplies. It took more than four years to track the container down, and tonight we have what things looked like inside. 24 Hour News 8's Alicia Alonzo is here with the update on a story that Target 8 has been tracking for some time. Alicia. The supplies were exactly how leaders at Raise Up Hope International left them. Maybe with a few extra dead bugs inside, but a relief nonetheless. The director tells us this has been a long process, but she's grateful for their lawyer who made the return possible. Following a devastating earthquake in 2013, a shipping container packed with emergency relief supplies went missing as it was making its way to Haiti. Rays of Hope International paid nearly $20,000 to ship the load of medical and other supplies from Grand Rapids to Haiti. That shipment never made it, causing stress and confusion for the nonprofit. It has been a nightmare. It's been a long process. Fortunately, we had a great lawyer who did most of it, did a lot of it. Christopher Spain, an attorney for the Smith Hoy Rice and Rogie law firm, saw the need to help the organization to find their supplies for free. Our firm really tries to help out those in the community that need it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we have a pro bono program where we, as lawyers are encouraged to take on certain pro bono cases, you know, trying to figure out how to get the container back. Uh, we were able to dig in and do a lot of research and figure that out and we enlisted the Federal Mar uh, Maritime Commission uh, that was able to help resolve the, the whole the whole thing and, and help us get it back. The container was tracked down in Miami in 2015 and made its return back to West Michigan in December. Organizers weren't able to open the shipment until today. It's been sitting in, in Miami, so kind of baking in the hot sun for a couple of years. We just started emptying it out, sort of the beginning part. We'll, you know, see as we get through, you know, kind of what the rest of the stuff looks like. Hopefully we can send most of it down to Haiti where it, it should be. For him to do what he's done is just so far above and beyond. And for the law firm to uh, let him, mm -hmm. to give him that time and uh, it, it, he's been a rock and someone I can call and say, oh, I'm so frustrated because of now. Rays of Hope International says the law firm worked nearly $20,000 in free labor from when the supplies went missing until today. Both the organization and their attorney are happy to finally close this chapter. Live in studio, Alicia Alonzo, 24-Hour News 8.